Are you excited to get your CCNP security from Cisco Systems? Well, you should be. We'll tell you all about it in this episode of Getting Started with CCNP Security. Well, my name is Anthony Sequero with IT Pro TV, and I taught two, and right now that's all that's in the library as I record this, but you never know, I taught two of the courses that are required to uh, take and then pass exams on when it comes to the CCNP security. And I have in the studio here with me, for those of you familiar with IT Pro TV, you won't be surprised, my dear friend and the host of both the courses that we built here at IT Pro TV for the CCNP security. Mm -hmm. And Ronnie, as you remember, it was all about score. In right. fact, uh, Don Pazette, one of the founders of IT Pro TV, uh, Ronnie and I came in one day and he had a score candy bar on each of our desks. And I pointed out, because I'm a stickler for spelling, that it's misspelled. <laughs> uh, but Ronnie and I did eat the candy bars yeah, promptly. And they were really good. They were delicious. Yes. So let's do this, Ronnie. Let's sure. walk our the students through, first of all, what are those requirements? Okay. What classes are we talking about? When you go to the exams page on the latest greatest, you see something that they really did a good job of thinking through. There is one required core exam. You don't have to take it first, but you must take it at some point in order to achieve this certification. And it's 350-701 SCORE. And SCORE, of <laughs> course, stands for Implementing and Operating Cisco Security Core Technologies. And thanks to Don Pizzette here at IT Pro TV, I'll always think of a candy bar and get hungry when I mentioned that title. But SCORE is your required core exam. It is your CCIE written qualification exam for the lab if you are interested in the CCIE security lab exam. So it's a two for one here. And then you choose from a growing list of what I call electives and I just can't get it through my head to call them anything else, but yeah. they're officially called concentration exams. So you're going to pick one of those. Now, Ronnie, you and I looked right. at the list, and we were looking over the list, and we said, well, clearly the most popular concentration exam is going to be SNCF. That's securing networks with Cisco firepower. Right. And we just knew that firepower would be the most in demand. And that's the concentration exam that we, our course that we put together to allow students to get through that exam. Ronnie, the exams are very similar to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the score concentration exam had 102 questions on it and firepower didn't <laughs> yeah. but it was like i think 64 questions and they were in similar style similar level of difficulty just very similar the two exams for right now uh, we have to remember that exam formats can always change and that's why i would definitely recommend you subscribe to the youtube uh, channel and even turn on the notifications feature because the second they manipulate the score or SNCF exam, an easy way for Ronnie or I or both of us to educate you about that change is to create one of our critical update YouTube episodes. So it's a really valuable reason to subscribe. I would encourage you to do that. So what we have here, though, is really two exams. Even though it lists three different courses, the recommended training, we actually broke it down into two courses on the IT Pro TV uh, courses instead. Thank you for pointing mm -hmm. that out. That was another huge decision that Ronnie and I made here. We were looking at the 
S S N G F W S S F I P S courses that Cisco put together. And we were looking at that and we were like, oh my gosh, they broke out the firepower into firewalling versus intrusion prevention. And then there's a tremendous amount of redundancy in those two courses, as you can only imagine. So we decided, oh gosh, yeah, we're going to put together one, many videos. We probably did about 50 or 60 videos, right? Because we taught both the intrusion prevention capabilities as well as the firewall capabilities in that one course. So that was a great way to do it. All right, let's talk about the uh, getting ready for the exam as sure. well. We had to go into uh, Pearson View, essentially register there, and you have to make sure you have the exam number itself because it's not going to tell you what the name of the exam is going to be. But you want to take one exam at a time, and of course right now if you do so, you'll probably take it underneath the uh, at home at some point. So you'll have to follow those guidance and actually be able to take an exam from home. And I believe Anthony actually has another YouTube video that actually talks about what we can do to make sure that we're all prepared in our environment for taking an exam from home. Yeah, I've finally gotten over Ronnie. You'll be happy to know <laughs> because Ronnie's like my, uh, he's my therapist. I, I mean, oh my gosh, did I not like that at first testing at home? Like, it, it's just super stressful. You know, I'm always stressed that I'm going to do something wrong and they're going to kick me out of the test, right? And it did happen to me. <laughs> my, my United States driver's license had expired. And so I'm sitting there all ready to get my butt kicked by the data center core exam from Cisco Systems. And they're like, sorry, no test for you. Soup Nazi reference from the <laughs> hit show Seinfeld. Uh, so yeah, no test for you. So that was not a fun night. But notice that would have happened to me at the testing center. But you know, what I've been freaked out about at testing at home is no matter how many times I've told my 18 year old daughter, don't enter this room, she's gonna forget and walk into the room behind me. The minute they see someone on camera behind you, they fail you. Now I'm getting off into a tangent of how to test at home, but I won't do that. <laughs> Just know that once you get the hang of it, now I'm hooked on it. And I'm testing at home, like it seems like every week and loving it, so. All right, Ronnie, so excellent. They're gonna head up here to Pearson View. You can see I've gone to the Pearson View site. They just go four test takers, schedule an exam. They'll type in Cisco right here to be brought to the Cisco Systems homepage, if you will, of this website. They'll sign in over here with their Cisco credentials and they're off and running. Uh, they're not Cisco credentials. They're, they're not your Cisco.com credentials. They're the Pearson View They're the Pearson View Cisco Or Cisco, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, these exams are tough. They are definitely not as tough. I'm working with the data center track right now at IT Pro TV, and that is by far the data center core, the toughest of all these new exams I've encountered yet. But these aren't too, too bad. But what do you think Ronnie and I do for you in our SCORE and SNCF classes here at IT Pro TV? We give you the tools that you need to be successful. And we talk about the level of knowledge you need topic by topic as we are going through. Now, why might you want the CCNP security? Well, the CCNP security is hyper-focused, for the most part, on Cisco solutions for securing your enterprise network, and they're one of the biggest players in that space. So it's an excellent certification when you know that you're going to be working with things like adaptive security appliances, firepower devices, stealth watch devices, umbrella software, uh, AMP, the advanced malware protection. Cisco is building a massive portfolio of security products. And if you feel you're going to be working with those, 
this is a very valuable certification for you. If you're going to be going to work at an exclusively Juniper shop, well, it's just not a value to you really, right? Like if there is no Cisco gear in your enterprise, I don't necessarily recommend these classes, but I will say though, Ronnie, right? In fairness, the score exam, it really, it did have just a ton of general security, right. cybersecurity content. Mm -hmm. So there is that aspect to it. Well, we sure are thrilled that you joined us for this, how to get started with the CCNP security. And if you have questions for Ronnie or I about this, you have the comments area below this video. So by all means, let us know if, if we can answer any questions for you on this lofty pursuit of the CCNP security. And Ronnie, I suppose it's more important than ever because there's no more CCNA security. That's right. So that's interesting. This is really your first concentrated discipline work when it comes to Cisco systems and the subject matter of security. Thanks so much for joining us in this video. We hope to see you soon here on YouTube.